All right, guys. Well, this is our next project for the day. Uh, some of you may know what this is. It's a Ford manual transmission. I'm not familiar with these, but either way, uh, it is what it is. Right? And so <coughs> you think, well, what's wrong with this crazy thing? Well, by the looks of this zip tie, something is not right. And it is right here. This is the broke off piece. And that is not aluminum. <laughs> That's some kind of epoxy. So I don't know if if they bought it like that or if they tried to fix it afterwards. But obviously it's not going to work because of that, that uh, pivot on the shift fork. It's not going to stay in place. But either way, uh, it's got to get fixed. So, you know, let's stick around. We'll get it fixed up and see uh, how it works. All right. All right, so I put a little bit of a ratchet strap on here. It's not gonna keep it from falling, but, uh, or sorry. It won't completely fall over, but it'll help hold it steady. It's just balanced on there. So either way, here's the uh, process, or here's the job. It looks like it just snapped right off. It's got a little, little bit of cleaning I'm gonna have to be doing on there. It's gonna be tight. Um, so I don't know how well I'm gonna film it, but uh, if you've seen other YouTubers, that have done these repairs they're not that tough uh, you i will have to clean it as best i can hopefully get some shiny metal in there so that i can boil out all the impurities in that cast uh, before i start adding filler i'm not quite sure how i'm going to go about making that dowel again because i don't necessarily want to fill it all in i just want to fill in this area here uh, what i might do is i might machine a shaft out of stainless that is slightly smaller a few thousand smaller than the pin and that way i can just run a drill in there and, and kind of ream it out in a sense I'm not quite sure just yet uh, i hadn't actually done one of these before um, so being that it's not threaded that makes it a bit of a challenge if it was a threaded uh, bolt situation where well, you can just put a threaded bolt in there and weld around it and it would be great but not in this case i'm not quite sure if it needs a press in fitting like a tight fitting or if I can put some type of uh, like Loctite of sorts to help hold it in there but I will determine that as I get further along depends on how sloppy it is hopefully it slides right in right that'd be the goal slide right in and maybe just use some Loctite to kind of help secure it uh, put some scuff marks on the dowel so that it has something to grab to because right now it's really really slick so you're learning as I'm learning so let's uh, see what kind of mess I can get into <laughs> There you go. All right, well, we got these pieces machined out. Now this guy shows to be... Ooh. 
four, 18 and a half. Close enough. If I'm off a little bit, don't tell Curtis. <laughs> anyway, so I want to put this guy right in here. Right in there. Oh, that's snug. That's pretty good. Okay, and then uh, just weld around it. And hopefully I can pull it out fast enough. So as the, the aluminum cools, it'll shrink a couple thousandths. Or at least a thousandth, right, maybe? I should probably weld the T fitting on here so I could pull it off. But I'll do that last only because it, that T may be getting in the way. Or maybe I weld the washer on there. And then I boop, pull it out. Okay, let me uh, consider that. There you go. All right. All right, well, here we go. Okay, so what I was doing there is uh, just running a, a bead, well not a bead, but just the tungsten uh, electric arc over it just to try and boil out some of those bubbles beforehand. Now I don't have the cleanest <laughs> brush, but it's better than nothing.
That's a good one. Whew, that was tight. All right, now let me uh, let it cool a little bit. Then I'll file that top edge down, or I'm not quite sure. Be neat if I had a tool to flange face, or face that face. <laughs> Square that up. That's what I mean. <laughs> if we need if I had a tool for that, but I, I kind of don't. So we'll see what we can do. All right, well, decided to try something new. I don't know if it'll work at all, but I made a little doodad to try and shave the top of this, and it's just mild steel. It may not work at all, but it's all I had. So I figured this will uh, serve as a guide uh, in here like that and this guy will just slide over it and make the cuts and it's the diameter of this shoulder here so we'll see if it works I don't know let's see what happens pretty but it's flat now I can just file off those edges there and see what happens So, now it's a true test to see if this guy will fit. Now, I got some orange thread locker. Uh, high strength, but removable. A little, little do that or that on there. It sort of worked. Right on. Man, that worked out great. Jeez. Okay, let me move you over here. All right, well, it looked like it worked. Look at that. Nice and square. A little extra build up on here only downside is i don't have the little ridge that was in the original cast uh, as far as to help this shoulder and i don't know if that was purpose made or it was just um part of the extra casting that they just didn't cut off so uh, at least it tapped in there nicely nice and snug so that is gonna have to do it that looks uh, really good i was a little concerned there for a moment not sure if i was gonna be able to pull it off but uh, now we're gonna have a happy customer and even happier me because it worked <laughs> you just never know sometimes with these things right so uh that will do it i uh, hope you guys learned something and i'm really surprised my little tool worked where'd it go i don't know where it's at somewhere here this little guy kind of crazy just piece of mild steel either way 
um, anyway thanks for watching and hope you guys learned something like I said and uh, we will catch you guys on the next one because I have a couple more little aluminum projects I need to get done today so thanks again we'll see you guys later